Oh, this is huge. I mean, it's been two years. I can't remember the last time I was in Tokyo. So uh, what's prompting this move? Is the COVID situation getting better? Uh, well, certainly the COVID situation does seem to be pretty stable here at the moment. We can certainly say that. Um, but I think there's, there's obviously the business pressures. The tourist and hotel industry has been really suffering for over the past two years. While there is plenty of domestic tourism coming back at the moment, um, those foreign tourists really did drop the cash. So um, they do, to some extent, need them to come back. Um, on the other hand, the numbers are going to be very modest to start with. Um, Japan has agreed to lift the daily cap on international arrivals to 20,000 a day. Um, but that's still very small compared to what it was before the pandemic. Um, so we're not going to see huge numbers of arrivals all at once. And as you mentioned, these are only going to be package tours and they have to be with a guide. And I think that's mm. probably because although does, Japan doesn't have strict laws about um, the, the virus regulations, um, there are sort of customs and etiquette around what people still do to prevent the spread of the virus and they want to make sure that tourists uh, stick to those kind of rules. Are there going to be different categories depending on where these travelers are coming from? Yes, we don't have full details of that at the moment, um, but we have been told the government has said that 80% approximately of arrivals will be able to come through without being tested at the airport on, on arrival and without having to go into quarantine. So that, that the countries of the world will be divided into three different ca categories. But as far as we know, most countries will fall into the categories where there won't be too much difficulty arriving at the airport.